What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite builds in all Fall 76. We have my in-game full health commando build. Starting off from the weapon, this is it. This is our three-star legendary railway rifle that we're going to be using for the video. And the main legendary effect is the quad effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has a plus 50% of hit chance, and it also has a plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. Over in the mods, we're using the automatic piston receiver, long barrel, recoil compensating stock, reflex sight, no muzzle, and the look of mode of paint. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful full health commando build, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center and that's because there's a ton of disgusting green guys over here that need to be vanquished and we're first going to start off with this warlord right here. There we go, one shot and he's dead, that is insane for a full health build. There we go, we got 390, a 253, uh oh, uh oh, we got ourselves a stupid suicide, just get on out of here you freak. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Excuse you, brethren. I'm coming through with the railway. Uh-oh, we've got ourselves a flamer back there. Let me just get rid of him. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Look at this damage. They cannot withstand the power of the railway. Look at that. Absolutely insane. Oh, brethren. You want to feel the wrath of the railway? You cannot withstand the power of the railway. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We've got two more guys over here. There goes one guy. Fantastic, fantastic. And our next. Look at that. Just shredding straight through these guys. Do we have any more? Oh, we've got one more brother in. Here we go. One shot, two shots, and these super mutants are no more. Next up, we've made our way over to my arch nemesis, the Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Nancy. And oh god, these guys are getting pretty darn close. We're just going to lock onto her and absolutely destroy her. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. She's almost done with. Uh-oh, ran out of AP. Wait just a second, wait just a second. Excuse me, you stupid Scorched Overseer. I need you to relax. Just calm down, calm down. Eat my bullets. And just like that, our overseer is no more. What about these guys? There we go. We got rid of one. Wait just a second, sir. Quit shooting. Quit shooting. Here we go. Fantastic. And just like that, her buffoons are also dead. Now we've made our way over to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Terrence. And we're just going to wake him up real quick. And then we're going to absolutely lay into his face. We got a couple 180s right there. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. All right, brother. Now that you're awake, we're going to lock onto your face and absolutely destroy you. And look at that damage. He could not withstand the power of the railway. For our flying target, we have the level 75 Scorch Beast that goes by the name Charlie. And we're just going to lock onto her face and hopefully destroy her. Look at that. She didn't even have a chance to land that stupid Scorch Beast. Next up, we've made our way over to one of the most vicious creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. And we're just going to lock onto her face and absolutely unload on her. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Gotta be careful. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. Make sure we're hitting those vat shots to the face. All right, I'm just gonna get out of here real quick because she is running me into the trees. Oh, my leg queen, you want to feel the power of the railway? There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Gotta get up here real quick, gonna reload. Then we're gonna continue to lock onto our face. Goodbye, you stupid crap. Now, over in the build, these are the base sets to make up our in-game full health commando build. So if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is a start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards to make up our in-game full health commando build. Starting off in strength, we have 6 and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from opponents melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15 and this one can have all the commando cards maxed out to get the maximum damage out of this weapon. We have tank killer at 3 stars. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrated fire at 3 stars. Vats targets limbs, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance, we have 13 and this one can have life giver at 3 stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have ironclad at 2 stars. Gain 20 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. We have kinfiend at 2 stars. Any kims you take lasts 60% longer and we did take overdrive and psycho tats in this video. We have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 40 to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6 and this can have filter surgeon at 1 star. Stim packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Stranger Numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 and this can have First Aid at 3 stars. Stim packs restore 45% more loss 
enhanced health. We have Gunsmith at 3 stars. Guns break 30% slower and you can craft tier 3 guns. Over in Agility, we have 15 and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Evasive at 1 star. Each Agility point adds a plus 1 to damage and energy resist, max 15 no power armor. We have Gunfu at 3 stars. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% to then 30% to damage your next 3 targets. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gore red paste. We have Better Criticals at 3 stars. Vats Criticals do plus 100% to damage. We have Ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 80% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. We have 4 Leaf Clover at 2 stars. Each hit in Vats is a better chance to fill your critical meter. We have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from Rads and Rider will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy at 2 stars. Critical hits now only consume 70% of your critical meter. Over in Legendary Perk Cards, these are the Legendary Perk Cards that help make up our in-game build. Starting off in Strength, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out, Intelligence maxed out, Luck maxed out, Farfunk Fireworks at 3 stars, and Taking One for the Team maxed out. These are the Legendary Perk Cards, now let's get into my armor, buffs, and mutations. Starting off with our full health armor set, what we're using is a full set of Vanguard's gear, which grants up to plus 35 to energy resistance and damage resistance to higher health, and since we are a high health build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I used is my trusty normal backpack with the high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over in the Under Armour, what I'm using is my shielded Secret Service Under Armour to get a plus 4 to our strength, a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Scud Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst smears do not increase. Over in our Kim buffs, we're using Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and Psychotats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this, and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of my favorite Rifleman builds in all Fall 76, so if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now you see that, that is my Rifleman video.